Welcome to the Scott's Radios channel. This is going to be more for the newcomers to my channel. A lot of you guys have been long subscribers and I really appreciate that. And a lot of you guys are die-hard hobbyists like myself in the, in the radio hobby. But this video is going to be more for the newer newcomers to my channel that may not be a hobbyist per se. They just want to know more about radios and how they work and why do I need a radio and what can it do for me so you know obviously in this day and age we all we all have this and this is a very useful tool and, and a lot of times I think that's why the radios these are all CB radios by the way so they're not a ham radio whatsoever maybe that's why they lost popularity when when this came about in the in the cell phone and maybe even like the pager <laughs> we're going back a little bit maybe even like the pager started to you know make these less popular and for some reason um, there's kind of been a stigma that you know people say oh what is that ugly thing on your car or what is that god-awful thing you have up in uh, in the air on top of your house or uh, you have this TV antenna tower you know, we a lot of us used to have TV antennas that we rotated to turn to the analog television station, and some of us still do for the digital even. But um, you know, it, it, what is that ugly thing that's up on that tower? It, it's it's big and it just doesn't look good. And, oh, that's my radio antenna. What well, what is that for? Well, it's I communicate. I can sit here in my house. And I can turn my radio on and my wife or my son or daughter or husband or grandfather, grandmother, friend, whatever, can be out in a car and they can have that weird looking thing sticking off the roof of their car and I can talk to them the whole way. Well, well why would you want to do that when you can just call them on this and you have a phone, you could just talk to them. Well, they've outlawed phones now in cars to the point now where if I get this in my hand and I'm driving down the road and I just pick it up to answer the phone a policeman sees me do that he can write me a ticket and if I if that happens to me again then he can suspend my license so <laughs> you've kind of you've gave me this capability and don't don't get me wrong here I, I'm not a person that agrees with people staring at the phone while driving and stuff but you've you've gave me something that I can use and it's quite convenient but now you say I can't use it and you've taken that ability away and you're going to actually find me for it so this is why I would say that a radio is good to have in a car because yeah you can you can mount this in your car any one of these would work well you can mount this in your car and you can put that ugly <laughs> ugly antenna now I'm speaking from a non-radio uh, person's point of view because a lot of people would say that thing is ugly why do you have that on your car what is that for well, and my, my wife is at home on, on, we'd call it the base station in the CB world. She's at home on the base station, and I have the big antenna on, on the roof or on the tower. And I want to talk to my wife while I'm driving home from work or something, and, and this gives me a way to do it. And I don't have to worry about having this in my hand and getting a, a fine by the policeman or anything. And, you know, I just simply have this microphone in my hand and... You know, when I want to talk, I press that button and I speak into the microphone. And then when I want to listen to her, I just I just let go, and that's it. And I can hear her come through the speaker of one of these. And if you can't hear her clear enough through the speaker, there's external speakers that we can buy that plug in the back of these, and then we could put that somewhere else in the car, maybe closer to where you're where you're sitting or something. And then usually they have a better sound, anyways, that comes out of them. So there's a lot of reasons to have a a CB radio more than just for the fun of it, for the convenience of being able to communicate back and forth instantaneously. You, you literally, as long as the person on the receiving end can hear you and you can hear them, you can continue to talk unless someone comes and interferes with you or something. I mean, there's no licenses involved in this. You, you don't have to pay a license. You don't have to pay a monthly fee. There's no subscription service. There's nothing. You just simply hook this up in your vehicle get an antenna on the top of the vehicle I, I would stay away from any of the so-called compact antennas because they really don't give you much performance so if anyone would like to know more about like a CB antenna what I would recommend I, I, I would recommend contacting me through my website which is scottsradios.com it's just s-c-o-t-t-s radios.com and I'd be happy to give you some advice on what I think would work well now again you have to be open to wanting to have at least like a 62 inch stainless steel whip on the top of your vehicle or on the trunk or something like that or in a truck maybe 
Um, you know, you could also mount it on like the hood or something. They have like some side mounts that kind of mount up under the side of the hood or something. There's different options for antennas. So, you know, but usually the most popular would be like a magnet mount on the rooftop or something. So, uh, I know in Allen's situation, uh, over there at uh, Mountain Fortress Labs, I recommend that he run a 102 inch stainless steel whip. It's a really good antenna. But it is very long. Just consider if you have like a full size pickup truck or something and you put a you put a magnet on the top of it, magnet mount, and you stick a hundred and two inch whip on top of your pickup truck. I mean you're gonna hit everything, so but performance is outstanding. So in the radio world, you want that because you don't care what it looks like. When you can talk to your loved one, say at home and they have a let's say they have like a Mako a V58 on like a 36 foot tower which would be ideal for like a CB uh, home base antenna like 36 feet would be ideal heights above the ground um, you know you're gonna talk quite a distance you know on a, on a nice quiet day now we do have a thing in the radio world called skip which means that you'll hear signals from other states coming in a lot in other countries at times and a lot of times they may overtake you so sometimes it can be a little stressful and usually at night that tends to go away early in the morning it's not there sometimes during the day it's very strong so what I would say to that is if you wait a few years that's probably going to die out right now we're in what's called the high solar activity so we're getting a lot of that skip coming in daily and in another three, four, five years, it's going to go to the absolute minimum. And then local communication will be much easier and you'll be able to get more range out of it. So it's just kind of where you're at. And it doesn't always mean that every day you're going to have that skip that kind of interferes. But what I would say to that is this radio would be a very good example of that. It has a feature on here for FM mode, CTCSS. And what that does is block out unwanted signals. So you turn that feature on, you, the other person would have to be running one too. And then they're only going to hear you per se because there's a way when you transmit, when you press your microphone, the radio will automatically send a subaudible tone with it. And the person listening will, the receive will only be listening for that tone. And when it hears the tone, then the voice will pass through. If, if they're not, if they don't have the tone, and this is probably a little more complicated than some probably would really want to hear about right now but if the tone's not there then you don't hear anyone else they're still there but you just don't hear them now the only difference would be everyone still hears you there's no privacy as far as you can't have a private conversation on any of these there's no privacy on cb radio it's if someone can hear you they can hear you so you don't want to sit there and talk about like financial things over the CB and give out credit card numbers and, and you know stuff like that. And it's generally not really a good thing to do. Talk about personal, really personal matters because you're you're kind of talking about it to everyone. It'd be like going on the internet and posting really personal things. You wouldn't really do that. So you would really wouldn't do that here either. So. But that's kind of my take on it, is these are very good choices. Now, they're, they all have a few different features, but they all have at least the three here. See where it says automatic SWR, here, here, and here. Now, this is the really compact one, so it's missing a few of the features like that these have. But the automatic SWR is important, because if you've never set up an antenna for CB, these radials will assist in getting that antenna set properly. When I mean set... The antenna might come new out of the out of the packaging and you put it together and generally it won't really be in tune for the frequencies that these CB radios use. So this radio will help you set it up properly and sometimes you may have to, you probably want to get some bolt cutters if you're talking a little steel whip or something. Not the 102, we're talking like a base load magnet mount. Sometimes you have to trim a little bit off the bottom of the whip or something just to get the frequency to line up with what the radio wants to see. The standing wave ratio is important, so that's something that you really can't take for granted when you're first setting up an antenna. And it's very important on the home setup too. So the, the, all these radios will work on a home setup also. You just have to have a power supply. And I can show you guys an example over here. Apologize my mess over here on the desk. I have a microphone sitting there. That's a desk microphone. This is a 13.8 volt power supply. It's a, it's a ra rather large one. It's a 70 amp power supply. So you obviously wouldn't need that for something like this. Something like these. I would recommend probably like a 10 amp power supply or something. It would be perfect to run these. And those plug into the wall. 
and then they allow you to hook up your 12 volt actually it would be all 13.8 volts DC which is what these need we call it 12 volt but it's like 13.8 so and then you can run these in the house so you know that that's what I do when I'm testing these out the the radios when I test them out um, this radio and this radio take this kind of power cord there's a jack on the back and this just plugs in and this is hooked up to that power supply I just showed so that's how I power these we call these mobile radios so a lot of this to the the current subscribers will be kind of like redundant and like why are you making this video but I am getting a lot more interest in my channel and a lot more viewers so I think this video will be helpful for a lot of the newcomers and for any newcomer that's interested in just general communication these radios are really good for that they're very reliable there's really nothing that you need to do other than hook it up and hook the antenna up and use it so you know in that situation it's very easy if you didn't want to leave it in the vehicle or something you could just take it out use it bring it in but I kind of recommend leaving it out there if you go through all the effort of buying it and setting up an antenna it's probably more um, useful in an emergency situation to have it than not a lot of times let's say you hear about like all these traffic pile-ups on the expressway and whatnot and you know I always think about it well if everyone had a CB in their car and they were on channel 19 and all the truckers still had CBs in their trucks because a lot of them don't anymore I feel like if we were all listening to like channel 19 going down the road then some of this stuff could be avoided because someone would get on the CB and be like hey I'm at mile marker 20 and they're starting to be a big backup of, of vehicles because it's very snowy and we can't see more than like a foot ahead of our vehicle so be be prepared and start slowing down immediately wherever you're at because you're going to end up running into this or in the situation I, I saw it on the news yesterday and I'm not a big news watcher but I think they were talking about some fog or something that caused a huge pile up on an interstate somewhere in the US and it's just it things like this are invaluable for that but you know what you don't get is you don't get that on this and, and if you do it's too late and then if you did get it on this and you go to look at it and the police officer is off to the side and he sees you holding this up now he's gonna pull you over and give you a ticket because you're just trying to see what it said where they can't do anything to you on this if something comes through the radio and it would take a lot to ever get to that point but I really wish it would go back to that where we could depend on radio to give us information as far as like instant information reports from people already seeing things like down the road that's invaluable and I think that th that could save a lot of lives but you know that's just me in my opinion but I think that having a, a radio in a vehicle is, is something useful and I wish I wish that we had more of those those god-awful nasty looking antennas on vehicles and those all oh, that ugly thing that you have up on your roof and oh it just ruins the value of my neighborhood and I can't makes my home value look, go down because it looks terrible well that terrible looking thing can do a lot of good too I mean you can obviously communicate with it and at the end of the day when if the world ever goes black and all the internet and the phones go out and all that stuff that god awful thing up on the roof will be a godsend for those that have it and guess what for those that don't they're gonna wish that they had something you know they really are they're gonna wish that they had some type of radio or something even even a handheld radio anything would be better than nothing but again handheld radio is not gonna get you very far so that's it hopefully uh, a lot of you newcomers can take what I said and maybe a lot of you feel the same way that I do already but that's my two cents there if anyone's interested in any of these radios I do sell them I'm a president electronics USA dealer so I sell all these radios and uh, generally with these kind of radios they just get shipped directly to the customer you place the order through my website and the radio gets shipped in, um, within usually the next day or so if it's the weekend usually it would get shipped on Monday or Tuesday or something but usually they're shipped immediately so you know you, you hook it up set up the antenna read the instruction manual it's important learn about that automatic SWR feature that three of these have and away you go you set your antenna up and you're on the air now I can't always guarantee what you're gonna hear out here on this stuff is gonna be pleasant because there's a lot of people out there already so you know you may hear some stuff that's a little unscrupulous and uh, you may not want your kids to hear but 
that's not always the case either. I mean, there's a lot of good people out there too. So there's always bad people and everything. God, if you're on the internet, I'm sure you already know about all the bad people. So, you know, there's bad people everywhere. But there's a lot of good that can come from this stuff. It's a lot of fun. And, uh, yep, hopefully everybody enjoys what they're seeing on the channel. And appreciate all the newcomers stopping by. That's pretty much it. I'll put a link to my website on the description. And we'll catch everybody later. Take care.